What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, now we're going to be checking out the JD booth tour from Shanghai Winterfest. So, this is the final of the booth tours by VVIP Toys and Ton Wu. So, yeah, uh, right now is New York Comic Con, although the showing is very weak, if I'm honest. You know, like PCS and PRS are there, but there's no new statues. It's just, you know, your statues that have been up for pre-order for some time or even released statues like they have the blade statue up there yet that's been released for some time so i don't know if i'll be doing much content on new york comic-con i feel like in general the comic cons in the united states san diego new york have been extremely disappointing the last few years they've kind of like transitioned away sideshow doesn't even go anymore they find it too expensive so they just do their Sideshow Con, the virtual event, which is fine, you know, but Sideshow has been irrelevant for me for about six years. So, uh, yeah, I'm mostly excited for the next Prime 1 Next Level Showcase. For me, this is like the biggest Next Level Showcase ever. All right, so let's check out J&D. Highlight, it's got to be that Harley, incredibly hot and sexy. You know, like, I definitely dig this. For sure. We got the Geralt. I wonder if this is a production piece. I mean, it looks the exact same as the prototype I saw. Superman. See, I didn't watch these movies a ton growing up. Like, I've seen them, but I wasn't, like, huge into them. Same thing with, like, you know, this Catwoman, like, I haven't really watched those movies growing up. I've never seen that movie. I do like the R one. I think she's very beautiful. Love the Indiana Jones, for sure. And that particular movie. This looks like their 1-6 scale. Because I know they've been also venturing into 1-6. Dude, that Joker looks so weird. It looks like he is about to kiss Batman. <laughs> Literally about to kiss him. Yeah, like, they have a pretty sizable booth. You know, like, look at those giant walls. That's pretty impressive setup. That probably took them quite some time to set up. Everything looks like it's about in glass cases. This is the artist one. I can't remember the name of the dude. This is VVIP Toys TV. This track is called JND Studio Booth Tour. Wonder Festival 2024 Shanghai. Wonderfest Shanghai 2024. Fran Sanjaya. Dude, what was up with that? My freaking MacBook was listening to us. <laughs> oh, my Jupiter, folks. Honestly, I don't know who the heck would buy that. I don't know who that is, but who would buy that? This is going to sell for the obvious sex appeal. Everyone loves Harley Quinn. There's no doubt this is probably the best face of a Harley Quinn on any statue or bust. You know, I think this tops it all. You know, like, that is just gorgeous. I really like that sculpt for sure. I, I wish I would have got this head sculpt on my other Harley instead of the teeth showing one. I don't mind teeth showing, but I wish it was open mouth teeth showing, not just smiling. God, I really want to know what's underneath that dress. I know everyone does. And I pretty much can guarantee anyone buying this is going to look under that dress. They're going to be like, all right, let's see what we're rocking with. Did they copy Wolf on Wall Street or did they just leave it blank? Because that's mixed media. I wonder, because this is like, you know, $4,000, if the entire body is silicone or only the parts showing. I think it may be all silicone. Like, that looks silicone to me. So that means... In essence, she could have, you know, like, true silicone boobies and everything. If they're smart, they'll sculpt the nipples. The costume's okay. I mean, it's not, like, amazing, but it's pretty cool. Like, I like the gold dress. It's, you know, gold with the black. There's watches on her arm, tattoos. The pose is okay, kind of sexy. She's wearing a lot different jewelry than her typical. All right, then you got the Superman. I mean, this personally, I would never want to own this. I mean, yeah, it does look like the actor. I think the Superman's better than the Clark Kent. But, I don't know, it's just, it's okay looking. 
not super impressive for me. Like the detail's good and the sculpt is good, but I don't know. I just don't care to own this, this character, this version of Superman. For me, Superman is, you know, Henry Cavill, not Christopher, what's his bucket? He looks so nerdy. <laughs> All right, let's get past this. How are you guys liking Agatha, by the way? I still need to watch the latest episode, but it's okay. The wife got sick of it. She doesn't want to watch it anymore. So Catwoman, there's no doubt that this Catwoman is a hottie. I, you know, I don't think she's as attractive as Anne Hathaway, but she's no doubt a hottie. Better than the Catwoman from the, the Batman movie. So she's probably the second best Catwoman for me. I put third as Halle Berry, fourth the most recent movie. You know, I watched this movie like a year and a half, two years ago, but I don't know, I couldn't get into it too much. Henry Cavill Geralt. It's a shame that he's not cast as Geralt in the final season. I think that's going to hurt collectibles for, you know, this I like this, but personally, Prime 1 is much better in my opinion. I know this is like the silicone and whatnot, but I just like the Prime 1 better. I like the sculpt more, the costume, the base, the pose. I just dig Prime 1's more. That monster is pretty cool. I'm hoping the j and Stellar Blade will have some cool-looking monster like this. Obviously, I own Mera, so they're just putting this up here because, frankly, they haven't released you know, a ton, a ton of products for a massive booth like this. So they got to show older products that are already released for quite some time. You know, I do love that Mara. She's gorgeous. Arwen, they definitely improved the likeness on this. You know, I think the original prototype, I was not seeing the likeness, but I do see the likeness now. She's very attractive for sure. Very simple statue though. It's like the dress is very simple. The base, very simple. The pose, simple. The only thing to look at is her face, which is very good. Then you got this, some Asian hottie. I like it. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but she's an Asian hottie. And you know me, I love Asians. I've always loved Asians ever since I was a little kid. I always wanted to marry an Asian when I was a little kid. And fortunately, I got me a hot Asian. So this looks cool. I don't know what this is from, but like I said, it looks cool. Don't care for the cigarette. I do not like girls that smoke. It is an immediate turnoff. But that face is killer. Very good. Then the Indiana Jones base, decent. Sean Connery. The likeness is really good on both of them, honestly. I like this a lot. I think for all the duos, this one is probably one of the best. I don't like the duos where it's the exact same character because it just doesn't make sense to have the same character next to each other. But something like this does. You know, Indiana Jones with his father. Where when you have like Batman and Bale or... Superman and Clark Kent, those don't quite make as much sense to me where, like, this would, you know? And I'm a huge fan of this movie. Yeah, the Indiana Jones looks excellent, for sure. I mean, that detail. You'll, the thing is, any statue with a hat, you got to display up high. If it's displayed down low, the hat blocks the eyes. So this is definitely, like, you got to display it top level. But for sure, it looks really good. The mixed media, the silicone pose, eh, don't care for it. Boring. But that's what, you know, they do. So it looks like they're doing Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow. That would be very interesting. John Wick. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that a lot. I think that looks excellent. You know, I like the Prime 1 John Wick, but it's only quarter scale, and I would much prefer a third scale. So if I had to choose, I'd do the J&D over to the Prime 1. That looks really good, and I am a big fan of John Wick. I think they're great movies. You know, extremely good action. I like his character. I don't care to own a statue. This is what I want. J&D Stellar Blade. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for that. I'm curious if that's a pose. I can't tell what costume that is. Then you have this Korean movie. Oh, I can't remember the name. I need to watch this movie. I need to download it. 
I forget the name. I'll have to Google this and watch the movie. Because I've seen a few Korean, like, movies, and they're pretty freaking good. My wife loves watching Korean shows. She watches TV shows and movies. I swear his hammer looks backwards, though. Let's see. And then, looks like they're... What? Oh, it's... Uh, one six scale action figure for Catwoman. Looks like the exact same pose as mine. Then the Christian Bale one third Batman. Which definitely looks good, although I do not like the pose. And alright, then you got the Cogen Works, which is their smaller scaled. It's crazy how sometimes these smaller scaled, like, 1.6 look better than, like, full-blown statues. And I'm just like, what the heck? I wish the people that sculpted these would sculpt statues for us. Like I said, that Joker looks like he's about to kiss him. That looks wild. Plus, look at the mouth. There's, like, a separation between his mouth and the cowl. They didn't push the inner mouth in all the way. That looks just like the Hot Toys I kind of used to own. That's kind of repetitive. Let's see, is there anything else? That is pretty much it. Alrighty, folks. So that is it for Wonderfest. Someday, I do want to go to one of these events. I think it'd be so funny. It reminds me of Tokyo Comic Con. When I did Tokyo Comic Con, it was only Prime One, but they had a huge booth. And then Hot Toys. It was a little cool props booth. Now, back then, there was no Queen or Infinity, J&D, all that. So I would love to go again. You know, because there's so many more companies. So maybe I'll do, you know, like a Tokyo Comic Con or a Shanghai Wonderfest one of these years. I definitely, you know, I've been itching to go back to Asia. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think of all these uh, J&D stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.